everyone, I'm Sarah Hornsby and I am your online myofunctional therapist and I am still in Rome. I'm at the AAMS Congress all about myofunctional therapy and I have heard some great speakers today. I wanted to update you guys on what I'm doing and on my um, YouTube channel I've been documenting all of the days that I've been traveling to learn and um, I've been to the orthotropics conference in London and now I'm here in Rome talking about myofunctional therapy. Um, one of the speakers, actually it was a duo of speakers that I wanted to talk about that I heard speak today was Paul Ehrlich and Sandra Kahn and they are the authors of the book called Jaws and this book is really really good so I'm going to um, share that with you guys in the comments and give that information below but um, one of the best takeaways from their presentation uh, was that we are all talking about healthy food nutrition diet you know whether you're paleo vegetarian vegan low carb high carb low fat high fat everyone's talking about the nutrition but not necessarily the consistency and the hardness or texture of the food that we eat. So it's not about nutrition completely. That's important. Yes, of course, healthy eating is good. But if we're not chewing our food enough, our food is too soft, our jaws won't develop as fully and as broad as they should. So what they were describing is that our modern diet, our modern lifestyle, since the Industrial Revolution, our food has gotten really, really soft. And it's not just that we're drinking smoothies and stuff like that, it's that even the food that we grow, like fruit for example, it's not as tough as it used to be. We've actually modified fruit to become softer and juicier and it tastes better so people like it. Um, we also have you know, pouches of fruit, so it's pureed fruit, almost like baby food, like applesauce, and it's in little packets that kids suck out of. So they're not chewing that food, they're sucking it and swallowing it without actually using their muscles and developing the jaws. Um, instead, they're they're just sucking on food. So our soft food is a big problem and this is one of the most important takeaways from um, that lecture today. So the second big takeaway that I got from that presentation that I think was really great is that we live inside and ancient people didn't used to live inside so our um, genetics have evolved and developed um, differently than what how we're actually um, living, I guess, if that makes sense. So um, humans live inside. Uh, when we live inside, we're more susceptible to allergens because everything is contained. So this is what they were explaining today. Modern people have more allergies, therefore more nasal congestion, and uh, more stuffy noses, so more mouth breathing. And that's affecting the way our jaws are developing. So it's not just soft food, it's also environment. So what Paul Ehrlich was saying is that it's not just the soft food, it's the diet or it's the environment and um, the genes are not evolving, this isn't happening, it's not that the, the DNA is changing, it's epigenetic changes, so it's the environment um, that we live in, the food we're eating, and this is what is changing the shape of our jaws. So that I think is a, a really great takeaway. Okay, so concept number three that I wanted to talk about is something that um, Sandra Kahn outlined and she said, what is normal? We don't even know what normal is. So we think of normal in the dental world as a class one occlusion, which is straight teeth all perfectly matched together and 28 teeth. Well, is that normal? I think that's a really important question to ask. It's normal from their perspective, from an evolutionary perspective, that we have all 32 teeth. We shouldn't need to pull out wisdom teeth because there's not enough room for them. So what has happened to our jaws over only the last about 300 years? Um, they're talking about anthropologists looking at human skulls from only about 300 years ago and they have all their teeth. Their jaws are strong and, and larger than modern people and this isn't ancient, this is just 300 years old, um, and they've got big um, forward facial development compared to humans today who've got longer, narrower faces, narrower palates, and small jaws compared to our ancestors and from people not that long ago. 
All right, you guys, so those are my three takeaways from the Congress in Rome today for myofunctional therapy. And I will be making more videos like this in the future. And you can stay tuned for some interviews I have coming up too. I've interviewed a couple people um, that I'll be putting up uh, on my channel coming soon. So uh, look forward to that. And I will be talking to you guys tomorrow for another video.